Wow. How's it going? This is the one and only Sexty Cat here. And I'm uh, working on uh, a new game idea. So I was thinking about recording this whole game like uh, while streaming it. Make, make a game while streaming it. Kind of like a game jam, but stream the whole thing. Uh, not a very big game, but one that I could do in a, in a number of hours. But uh, if you want to come along with the journey, feel free. Maybe you can learn a little bit something about production design, maybe, or just for fun. So, the game that I want to make is kind of a, a parody of Earth.io, which is the game I play all the time. I could just, I don't have to pull it up. You can look at other videos, but basically a lot of people that I know there, I want to make uh, them into characters in this made-up game. It's still gonna be two 2D platformer fighter, but uh, instead of uh, the exact system like Earth IO, it's gonna be made up. It's gonna be a scene. So I talk a, first a little bit about the design of it. I've been thinking about it for a while, so I think I have some basic idea, and then we can go through what production steps we need to take to make it. So I'll just draw, for example, in the very broad scope of things. Have, um, we have the, the game itself with the code. So, the program. Oh, shit. And this would be like different jobs for different people, but I'm going to do everything. Any graphics. And then audio, too. Uh, within, like, audio, you got sound effects. And you got music. Uh, for graphics, you could break it down all sorts of ways. I could just do environment, characters, and you could say, I mean, this is just an arbitrary way of breaking it apart, but, and plenty of the, the code that's broken down a lot of sections, but we're going to basically need a lot of different kinds of, uh, functions, just things to different parts of the, the game, for example, like the physics engine, I'm going to break that down even closer to, like, character to character physics, and character to object physics, um, so we're going to talk about everything, this is the long play of making a game, strap in tight. So, what is the game idea? Well, I was thinking about just a platforming fighting game, and I wanted to have my my people that I like in the game as my team, and, and different scenes. The first scene I, scene I was thinking of was fighting FT Clan. Maybe they're like raiding a noob village or something like that. And, uh, and stealing shit, I don't know. But, uh, you're either sexy cat or stabby sloth. Draw. That's a sloth. Can you tell? <laughs> Excuse me. Masked bandit and uh, silent earthling. Which I want. I was thinking about how to design silent earthling, and I kind of want him to be like this ghost or this spirit kind of thing. If he more more like a mute face. <laughs> um, so basically, you you have to, you have these four characters. You can only play one at a time, and uh, and they each have a couple moves each. Um, sexy cats will have uh, a big sword as his melee regular attack. Oh Jesus, what happened? And then uh, I was thinking about getting flowers, and then you can do a flower mage as a special kind of attack. Um, kind of when all the characters have a different style to them, and then reference Earth.io as much as possible. Um, Stabby Sloth, uh, she can have like a, I still don't know how to draw her really, I'm still figuring that out, but uh, I think she could have a, a dagger. Or you can stab really quickly, but it's short range, and, and, but you can do it like, you can tap it really fast. 
And I was thinking as she uh, get, gathers blood, as she kills people, she can do her special attack. Which maybe it could be like she shoots a spike ball, like the champion class. Or she maybe a big hammer or something. I don't know. Um, this is the most fun part, is just coming up with characters and the weapons and stuff. So basically, mechanic-wise, you have this, the four characters, um, and they each have their own health bar, um, and as one gets low, you can switch between them. And this is, by the way, a one-player game. It's not a multiplayer game. I'm still figuring out how to do multiplayer. Might be a long time before I do that. I'm going to have some uh, one-player games I want to finish first. Um, let's see. They switch characters. You don't want them to die because then they'll be dead forever for the round. But if you keep them alive before they die all the way, you can heal them in the game. I get maybe red flowers or something. Like if you get a red flower, it would heal your whole party. The idea is to switch between characters before they die. Um, uh, Mass Bandit's moves. I was thinking about drawing him as like a like a cowboy bandit or whatever. And uh, I was thinking he was, he was like a six-shooter pistol. And uh, it says his regular attack is just a shot of a pistol. And then maybe his special is like a shotgun or something. I was thinking about between a sniper and a shotgun. I was thinking of a shotgun just because it's more like Wild West. He goes thematically with him. You know there's not a shotgun in Earth. I wouldn't be surprised if there was one at, some po at any point. And then for Silent Earthling, I was thinking about having him... Uh, since he's good at dodging, maybe go invisible or something like that, be able to dodge bullets. And, uh... Maybe... Maybe his regular attack is just like a projectile. I don't know. I don't think it's... A, I don't have to think I have to figure it out quite yet. I just kind of have a broad idea. I think I will do the multiple characters thing, because I think that's a key component of what makes the game interesting, or what makes it. Um, so I was thinking each character has different ways to recover their special, all their specials and ammo work differently. Uh, or maybe the ghost could even have a bow. I just thought that. He could pick up arrows. Like, my 60 cat would pick up flowers, do flower mage. Uh, like, they all have different ways of getting ammo. I was even thinking there being a shop where you can buy a uh, ammo for this masked bandit. We get arrows. I originally had my character do have three different attacks. I was gonna have an, a, a bow, a sword, and a flower attack. But I was just thinking with all the characters, there's plenty of attacks. So I feel like it was just too much. It would make, it make the reason to switch between characters more viable. Um, and I was thinking in general, me and Stabby being melee characters, and then F Bandit and Silent Earthling being ranged characters. It's kind of a cool little group. I feel like a good balanced little four person group. Um, so the first scenario in the game, or maybe the one scenario that I'll make, it depends. I'm thinking of two main scenarios. Maybe I should make the snow scenario. I was thinking between FT raiding a new village, and you're kind of stopping them. You're called in to protect the village. Um, there'd be a tank for future. Like, you'd get hurt and maybe run into the tank. And maybe you call on the phone and call in reinforcements. Um, he's in the tank, and maybe to destroy the tank or something while he's getting new guys who, I don't know, they kill, kill noobs or something, or they fight you. Uh, maybe it could just be a pretty flat level, maybe with some trees, some houses. But the other level I was thinking was doing a snow, snow clan, and that Bree, <laughs> I'm just laughing, this is funny to me. Oh, Jesus. Um, I was thinking Bree's the main person, and there maybe she's like floating around. Oh, she looks really demented. Oops. What? Um, and she floats around. This is kind of bad drawing. 
Maybe she's a shield or something like that. And it's like a snowy place. <laughs> I was thinking like trees that are like platforms and stuff uh, that you can jump on. And then she goes into the pyramid, which is like the mountain, and like summons uh, new new uh, new persons to help her, like different snow clan people, like Yellow, Owan, and stuff. So that was the other scenario I was thinking about. Um, I think I'll stick to the FT one. Maybe I'll make that other level too. But that's enough design because this stuff can come in later. It's just, it's just enough to kind of get started. So now we can look at production stuff, production lists, and all that kind of stuff. I'm trying to listen to some license free music. So this is my cousin's music. Stuff that he's made. So I'm gonna run through that first. Um, speaking of music, I'm sure this will need a song. So we can look at production. I guess let's look at non programming things. So for like, uh, let's just branch into audio since we're talking about it. Audio. One thing about Earth IO is that it has no, audio, has no audio at all, no music and no sounds. And I'm a big music guy, big sound. I love part of making game making. I think it really integrates into the user experience. So I think it's such a shame. So my, my game will definitely feel more life, like alive compared to Earth IO. But I think Earth IO is trying to go the trend of like Igar IO and other IO games where it's almost like no graphics. Um, They're hyper simplified. But audio wise, so you need all sorts of sound effects. So I think music, you, as far as just one um, scenario, we we'll either need like two different songs, or maybe even three. Because I'm thinking of intro, or like, like an opening screen, the main theme to play during the game, and maybe a lose and win theme. And they might be really short or something like that. But I think I could just roughly do that. I might not need... I mostly just need a main theme. But it kind of it makes it more cinematic. And I think the game has a little bit of cinematic flair to it. So it might be cool to add that, add those elements to it. Um, as far as sound effects, I probably want each attack to have its own sound effect. So maybe like... For like... Uh, I guess that's eight weapons for the main players, plus who knows how many weapons for the other players. Maybe about that unique weapon sound effects. So like, uh, I'll probably do like really 8-bit sounding things. You can do all sorts of stuff with 8-bit sound generators or just doing it in an audio program. But I'll probably mess around with that. You need stuff like item get sound effect, uh, hurt sound effect, um, and maybe each character have its own hurt. So we'll go times here. Um, honestly, these can be made pretty fast and pretty easily. Um, I'm, trying, I'm trying not to be dwell on anything for too long, so. Um, and maybe some like menu select sound effects. Um, so I'll just leave that there for now. Now as far as graphics. So we're just laying out the production, the, what we need to do to make it all fit together. And so this helps kind of break it down. I could just knock each thing out of the list and kind of have a perspective. I'm giving myself a perspective. Um, so for graphics, you got background, you got intro screen, um, you got the four, four characters with all sorts of animations. So they need hurt animation or just a, even just a frame. It's not even like a full animation. Uh, we need a, a running frame, jump, um, sh and then two attack, two for the different attacks. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, so that's the four different characters plus the uh, 
the uh, enemies. So we'll just say it's about eight. So, I mean, that's only about tw 20 some um, frames, of, which is not too bad that we need. And some are gonna be pretty similar. Oh, we need like the what though? Projectiles, graphics, um, menu stuff. If there is, I mean, maybe there's not even a menu. I was only thinking for the shop, if there's gonna be a shop, but maybe I should just have, to make it simpler, just have the uh, reload items just appear in like crates or something. So, background is also includes the platform stuff, like trees, tank. houses, background like clouds, it'd be cool if it was kind of like apocalyptic for the FT raid, um, so that's another thing, as I was thinking about was colors, right now I'm thinking about making it all black and white, except for very few things will be color, so we'll see how that goes, but if I did do some color, it'd probably be all washed into one tone, set of tones. Like it would all be different light blue or something like that. I wish I had a good example to show what I mean. I guess. Hmm, I don't really have an example. Uh, okay, but that's basically the graphics, what we need. So audio effects. Let's spend some time on that. Graphics effects take a little bit longer, won't be too long. And of course the code base is really the bulk of the work. <clears throat> um, so we're going to really break it down here because this is actually pretty important um, so we can break things down into init so things that just need to start from the beginning we have the uh, the loop so something that happens 60 frames a second within that you have the f physics update so it does everything you need for physics, like checking boxes, if they're interacting, what you need to do to do that. Um, we have the render update. So that'll change the graphics each time. Um, and then we have the user input. So that's a whole bunch of functions that take in user input and do what it needs to do. And then we'll have just a list of a whole bunch of objects this is basically what the, the code, all the code is going to look like. There's init, initiatory, you have your update, um, loop that renders in there. There's a place for user inputs, and then there's a whole bunch of functions for each object and what they are. Like, for example, a character would be a function, and so a character would have stuff like HP or like ammo or current velocity, it's x and y location, it's velocity. So you just have to declare what th those objects are, what contains inside of them. So there's a whole like part of your code that just lists that out. So that's like a really broad view of it. So as far as more specifics, what I'm thinking about is the physics engine. That is really kind of the, the main part of it. And I could use somebody else's physics engine, but I'm I'm basically building my own, it's really simple, in Observator. I'll just show you that game really quick. Right now, the physics engine is super simple. All it is is that you have a, your main character and it just goes down when, uh, since I know full screen button. What is the full screen button? No, I don't have it. Uh, this is what Ob Observator looks like right now. It's still in pre stages, but. I made my own physics engine for this, and basically just an X and Y coordinate, and these platforms are their own set of coordinates, and when you're not falling into it, you're you're it's stopping you. If you're not if you're not touching a platform, it's gonna stop you. And then I should continue that for each side. So like right now it's only for when you're going down into a platform. But you can make it where if you don't if you're going up, it's gonna stop you as well. I mostly just need, I don't even need the, the, the ceilings, I just need the the walls to work. 
So basically what I'm gonna do is steal this physics, physics engine, which is not really much to it. Um, so let's see, how are we gonna word this? I mean, uh, so we're gonna steal Observator's um, physics, which right now is just downward physics. Then we need to um, uh, add a side collision. We need uh, hurt boxes. Uh, which is kind of like your you need a hurt box and a hit box. Those are going to be the boxes to determine if you got hit by something. So like when you shoot a projectile or you swing a sword, it creates a hurt box. And then if another character's in that hurt box, or their, their hit box, if a hurt box intersects a hit box, then, some, then it gets hit. Um, so that logic needs to be put out. Um, and then all the different unique occurrences um, when you produce projectiles. Um, I'm trying to think just in really broad scope. This is what I'm thinking about right now is because this is what I need to develop. And luckily I could use this for Observator as well, so that even just developing this game helps Observator along. I think this is all I can think about right now. So this is the very bare bones. This will just give me a... In fact, I even have an old game, but I'm not going to use the code because it's a little wonky. I want to rewrite it. But can I find the game? Oh gosh, it's not a good idea. <laughs> um, I'm looking at my other screen here. I think I know where it is. But I made like a Super Smash Brothers, more or less, clone. I mean, not very far along. It was just had hitboxes and hurtboxes and... Uh, so it's something I could, in theory, use. I might actually steal some code from it, so maybe I should bring it up anyways. Um. Is it this? Yes. Might zoom in here. So this is my little... What's cool about this game, too, is that it's all... All the graphics are coded. There's no, like, assets that I load. All this animation and stuff, where I just drew boxes like ellipses and stuff. And it's such a pain, and then you can punch, punch. Um, so basically, you can just punch, punch your other guy, and he gets, he gets more damage. So he he gets further, he gets hurt, hurt further away. You can also do this air dash that I just did. There's no other extra animation to do that shows it. But you like, you can double jump and do an air dash. And then he gets, yeah, I guess he, he gets stopped from above platforms. Just want to hit him. Oh shit. Uh oh. He's gonna reload. Oh, this, the, the color was changing in the background. I just noticed that. So yeah, this is stuff that I'll, I could use. Like the hit box and hurt box. I was thinking about this whole, like, Smash Bros. sort of clone or like a different version of it that I, I was thinking about all these characters and stuff and those swifty smash cats <laughs> um. but uh yeah we're gonna have to come up with a lot of the code so man just getting started is tough should I make some graphics first? Might need a few graphics. Maybe I'll just make a, a 60 cat model for now. Let's see, because we need. There's players. 
These are all the characters. There's characters. So the game treats all the characters like something with HP and other attributes. But underneath characters, they're either like player controlled or or computer controlled. The computer controlled ones need to have their own AI as well, which maybe the maybe some I haven't really necessarily done that much AI. Mostly, I think it would just be. Not as much AI as much as it's just a behavior, so. We'll figure something out for that. It doesn't have to be complex at all. I want this game to be pretty simple, so because I want it to be easy to make and just kind of be done with it. Uh, I guess I will make a, a little sprite. Yes, yes, yes. I want it to be around 140, but just a while. We're gonna do 100 to 100 size characters. So I want it to be a little bit smaller than. I have an observator, so I'll show observator. This is character at 140 pixels. And you can zoom in and zoom out and stuff, but I try not to do that unless special cases. But, uh. Actually, that's a pretty good size. Hmm, that's actually a really good size. Do I want slightly smaller? I'm, I'm gonna go smaller, actually. It's okay. So this is 100? Yeah. So, we can just put pl placeholder graphic. It doesn't have to be perfect yet. In fact, I could probably just use that Lily character. But I think it'd be fun to draw my own character first. So I'm just gonna draw, like, the idea of it. Is this small? No. I wish you would have been pouring my brushes over. It's still pretty big. We're just creating like a an outline, like a, like a mannequin. I probably do want them turned towards a direction. Big feet. Tail. Ears. This is practically good enough itself, but that's just the background. Let's make it less color or less seeable. Okay, now another layer will darker. Oops. Oh, what happened? Okay. Okay, I need to draw. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I can affect the zoom. Just like a little. This one's too much, that one's too little. So. It's hard for me to. It's not hard for me to do graphics, but I'm always hard on myself a little bit. Ugh. Okay, uh. I could color this game, but for now I'm just gonna do black and white. Oh Jesus! Ooh. It's hard to make that line. Gotta zoom in for the face. Take out the background. 
Ah, the shape the face looks a little funny. I need to move this over. Oops. Needs to be longer. That's a little bit better, I guess. This pen needs to be smaller. For the eyes at least. Damn, it's still pretty big. <laughs> Doe eyes. He's just innocent. I guess he does need to get filled in anyway, so I might as well color them. Holy crap. I don't know about, about those eyes. Damn. This one just needs to be closer. What the hell? Okay, this is gonna work for now. I need to fill him in. Shit. This is always like, what way should I do this to fill in? Pretty much the easiest way I know is just to like copy this and then make the pass all converge and then I can fill it all in. It's kind of annoying. So we'll just do a new layer. So we'll combine all these ends. You gotta do it one at a time. Head, so we can fill in with whatever we want. So I guess we can, in theory, make it color pretty easily. Combine this. I think I need to get a, make more of a line from here. Oh, shit, what did it combine with? This one? I don't really like this stuff. This is annoying. Ugh. There we go. Okay. goes really far low. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna fill this like that. Oh. Actually, I think that won't work. You select, you select. Good. Thank the Lord. That worked. And that should do as well. Just a fill in. We also need uh, some whites right here. Can I just get somebody to do graphics for me? Okay. 
That'll work for now. A little sexy cut. Oh, wait. Damn. It's fine. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Oh, wait. His eyes need to be white. Him, I mean me. <laughs> I'm a cat after all. Oh shit. Now we're just dragging paths and doing stuff with that. Oh man. This is kind of annoying, huh? Uh, I don't know how to fix that. Oh, this needs to be. Oh god. Can I move it? Why is this like that? I don't understand. This part of the eye. Copy that, we should be mostly right. Just that handle, just this handle. Ugh. Okay. And so let's see how this renders. It's gonna be small like that. Our optimization, which makes it pixelated. Although, maybe I should art optimize. Man, it's so different. I don't know the anti alias. See? Basically, this anti alias is the image. Which, if you ever zoom in, it'll look blurry. But if I, if I don't do that, then it'll never be blurry, but it'll be pixels like that. Since these are going to be a little bit smaller. I don't know. I think I messed around with both. I guess this looks better. So, we'll make a new... folder. I think we call it Earth Legacy. So for now, I'll just put everything in the same folder. Um, um, we'll call it sexy cat neutral. So we'll probably have like a running one. Man, even just that—that that was so much work just to make that stupid graphic. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of work. Let's just save this. I guess I'll save this into. Uh, So now we also just need to make our code base as well. This is a heck of a job as well. Whew. I could just copy. This probably would be the easiest would be copy observator. Well, there's so many like extra shit in it. It's like what's always faster, like starting from scratch or just deleting stuff. Let's see. Okay, let's just to look at the lines. Regular observator, which isn't even I'm not using exactly 1600 lines, and then the main part that I'm using now is 800 lines without much content in there at all. But I can steal all the functions I need. I think I'm gonna start from scratch, and then I could show, little show you people how that works. Um, so, dang, I'm just like reluctant to start, but I need to start it. Okay. New file. This will be called, uh, 
you have to call it index when you upload it, so I might as well make it index. Or no, I'll call it what the game is. Um. Earth Legacy. Okay. You don't necessarily have to put this, but I'm gonna put that doc type. HTML only English English. Favicon, don't need that. So I'm just gonna kinda go through and see what I might need to take. So style, I might take this. This is the CSS. We'll just steal that because I think it'll be fine. Gives me a font. And this does stuff with making the the canvas as big as the screen pretty much. I've fought with that for so long. I still have probably will have to fight with it. Um, so we'll put the title on. This is back to HTML. It's legacy. Do I have to put slash HTML to end? Is there ever an open HTML? Oh yeah, right here, okay. So do slash HTML, which ends it. I guess we'll just do that, whatever. Okay. Um, these are scripts we would ever need if we added JavaScript files. Hopefully it'll just be all in one file. Okay, we'll start the body here. We also want to end the body. Wait, where do we end the body usually? I'm just gonna reference my other games just so I know it works and stuff. Yeah, end the body at the end. Slash body. Oops. Do a little space there. Um haven't defined the canvas yet. So we'll just do that. In the body? Okay. Okay, and then we'll go up to script. Let me see script. So that goes into JavaScript. We'll do slash script. Here. Okay. So that's JavaScript right here. So I don't know if you know, just go through it really quick. There's when you work with web language, you're usually working with more than just three, but the main three of like the content the web web page is gonna be uh, uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. HTML is kinda like the outlining stuff. You can just put in text there too, simple stuff. CSS is like a newer invention after that, which helps you stylize things. And JavaScript is kinda the the functioning of the what if you want to do anything unique into any kind of coding you can do it in JavaScript pretty much. Okay we're gonna we're out of out of my cousin's music so we'll put this ship tune royalty free music. Um okay we'll just see what this produces, huh? It should just be a blank web page but it Hopefully it has no errors. See if anything, there's no errors. Okay, well, it exists. Cool. You wanna, any, anytime you uh, add stuff, you want to check it. Make sure things are running okay. Let's 
No, I think I'm really doing it here. So, let's see. We'll see all kind of variables we might need from this. These are global variables. These are variables that are you kind of see throughout the whole game. Um, you basically paste it onto the main part of the, of the document. So yeah, I need canvas and CTX, which are going to be used as our canvas and... And the 2D rendering context is usually abbreviated with CTX. Um, camera position is that a thing I really need? I'll add the, I'll add some of the stuff when I need it. World? Oh, because this uses P2. This uses a the other game of Observatory, an older version had was using a, 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 a really good physics library called P2. Okay. Zoom, I'll need a zoom probably. Wait, I won't use zoom really. I have this preloading function I have in this game, but I might just skip that. Oh, because there's certain kind of errors if you don't preload it. If it tries to access. Yeah, I better just do that. Man. You always forget how much work it is to make a game. <laughs> Load count. Timer, character, circles, time, don't need this, don't need that. Maybe need action manager. Places, player, target zoom, time, images, controls. I don't think I really need any of this stuff. This is just a function here, and these are still more global variables. Oh shit, oops. Uh, audio files, do I need to load those? So we'll just. We'll do that for later. need to preload things and I'll just steal these functions so these are like the preloading function it checks for each each image in the image file and once it's done loading basically there's a function that's fired off when they're done loading and this will make a counter it'll count how many times it's done that and once it's had enough for to load everything then it'll be then I'll let the game start a little four. So I need images too. Oh god, for I images link. <laughs> oh my god, okay, images IMGS is different from images that push? What is images? Maybe images is um, resources. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I might need a resource file. So let's just copy this one, basically. So we need another new file. Save as. Resources.js. Kind of say this. We'll say the images. One of the images is what is it? Sixty cat neutral. Sixty cat new underscore neutral. Ping. Right? Is that how it goes? Also need to say. Oh, should I do expression? Uh, I should just say new image. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Var. 
Do I not save var in these resources? These are all new variables, but I didn't save var. You don't necessarily need to, but I'm gonna make some more clear. 60 cat neutral equals new image and images zero. It's the first one of the array. Is that right? Just check. Oops. It's resources. What the hell's this? Why is this untitled? What is this? Oh, this is... I was seeing something. I forgot to make a temporary context. Let's put that further away. Oh, create image variables. Oh my gosh. Create image variables. Image, images, what? Okay, it's so confusing. Images. <laughs> oh man, I could probably make it less confusing. I think this works. Okay, I think for now I'm going to take a little break. Maybe I'll get back into this. Well, thanks for joining for now. We'll see you next time.